Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Yuga Throne Ultra. This time we are jumping in as the beautiful, the lovely Weaponsmith. I love this character so much and we're going to give him a go and see what we can do. For our two modded Ultras, our two secret Ultras, we've got two things to do. One of them is just get to level 10 holding only one weapon, easy enough. And the other one is do it holding a morph weapon, so... Both of those seem reasonably easy. We're going to start off with a nuke launcher because that just seems fun. And it's also a good weapon to combine. Good old nukes. I love the fact that it's homing nukes on top of that. Oh, wait, one second. Let me go back. Do we have the uh, the crowns unlocked for this guy? That we do. Okay, I always want to start with crowns. It just speeds up the leveling process so much. And in fact, this is perfect because it means we'll always have one weapon starting on the next stage, which is exactly what we're looking for. Not enough ammo. There you go, we get a weapon there going, doing its thing. Plutonium hunger as fast as possible, please. We take whatever we get. I got a minigun, I think, here. I'm just going to keep crafting until the day is gone. What I get here? Super slug. I don't know how I didn't get hit there for that first little bit. This thing's going to burn through. I'm honestly a little worried with my HP right now, so we'll see how that ends up transpiring. Ha! One shot, that guy. Didn't actually mean to travel through there, but we did. The Super Slugger's not going to be amazing here because it's kind of slow fire rate. Doing a fine job, but fire's quite slow for these sort of enemies that are very up in your face and close quarters. We got the blood wall. We got the quadruple machine gun. Beautiful stuff. Um, Plutonium hunger is just too good to not take. Um, flexible elbow is really good too here. This thing's obviously a bit ammo hungry, but otherwise pretty good. Okay, it doesn't matter. I got hit by that. <laughs> I didn't know if it could deal, like, that much damage to me. Interesting to find out it can. Two, two very good starting areas back to back there. Dude, dude, <laughs> that nuke seeked me out. That nuke seeked me out. Suck me out? Suck? No, that sounds wrong. S seeked? What's what's the what's the past tense of seek? Seeked doesn't sound right, but sucked, sucked is wrong. <laughs> um. Impact wrists. Frost shotgun. Seems decent enough early and not too deadly to myself. In fact, this seems amazing. What level is this? Six? God damn. Gotta keep my eye out for this bad boy. This thing's amazing. Holy damn. Uh, plutonium hunger is just, yeah. Always. I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep this for a little while, honestly. It's 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 very, very good. This thing can carry, especially with Kraken on it as well. Look at that. Get this with tail end as well for the extra shotgun blast. It's going to be amazing. Honestly, this can carry us a good few floors, I think. I don't think we've got to worry about weaponry for a little while here. Especially considering it's freezing on top of everything. Like, on top of it just being good, freezing is super powerful for safety. Good. Kraken weapon there. Okay, what are we going to go for here? Open mind. Very, very good with this setup. If you want rads, well, we got fucking thousands of them for you with open mind. 
Yeah, cracking on top of this is beautiful. Gives you that extra reach, that bit of range. Mood Swing would be kind of good with it, to be honest. Frost SMG there as well. Eagle Eyes could be fun. Flexible Elbows is always nice. We've been proving just how good Hypersomnia is in these last few episodes, so... I think with the, the new buffs to it, it's just amazing, so I think I'm going to go for Hypersomnia again. In so many scenarios, it's good, especially late game. Late game becomes really good. When you can kill things very quickly, but there's a lot of them. I've leveled up pretty speedily so far. Although I think I've actually missed quite a lot of rads, to be honest. Plutonium hunger is all good. But yeah, the rad canisters specifically, I think I've missed a good few of them. How's it going to do against the boss then? Good. I did pretty good. I see a couple of you back here. All good? All good. Level 6 already. We are blasting through this. There it is, baby. Shotgun shoulders. I thought it'd be good with this setup. Why not actually know for sure? Another good reason to use hypersomnia. You know, when a chest's a mimic, because it's... <laughs> It's got little sleeping symbols above its head. Its chests don't normally sleep. Not typically anyways. Um, I think boiling veins is just a precaution here. Damn, I just took some bad damage there. A bad laser here could fuck me up, so let's be careful. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. That was kind of close. We could definitely do with some more shotgun ammo right now. Luckily, Plutonium Hunger here to save the day. I actually love Plutonium Hunger because there's so many weapons that kill enemies at a distance that you're not even intending to kill. It's nice to just have them, like, making sure that they're actually going to give you the rewards. That guy didn't even explode. Do freezing enemies not explode anymore? Oh, no, no. I think that's to do hypersomnia, actually. I think I've heard that hypersomnia makes it so that explosive enemies don't explode on death. Which is another really good bonus of it. Um. Oh. My shots were bouncing off that guy. I was wondering what the hell I was taking damage to. I'll take that just in case. Splinter on top of it. Why not? Yeah, enemies that normally explode, like watch this guy. Okay, you can't really tell there, because he was, uh... There you go, he, that guy didn't explode there. Yeah, explosive enemies no longer explode. Haha, you've fallen asleep, my guy. That makes you significantly easier too. It's just, it's simply too good. I, I actually don't think it's too good. It, 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 it doesn't need to be nerfed, I don't think. It's just usable now. <laughs> it's just before it was so bad. <laughs> I don't want to say it was so bad, but it was hard to, to get the fullest out of it. It was a bit random where it was compatible sort of thing. It just, it just had kind of a compatibility update where everything is actually asleep now. And they do sleep for longer at the start of the stage as well, which is obviously pretty good. It said only use one weapon, so I think I've done a pretty good job of that. Let's not die. Amazing. Very nearly leveled up there. I'm going to have to kill the bat boss, unfortunately, by the looks of it. Um, Honestly, back muscle might be kind of good here. I'm potentially quite often getting a lot more ammo than normal. The plutonium hunger grabbing it all. And all the chests as well at the end of the stage. Doesn't have to be the end of the stage specifically, but you know what I mean.
Whoa, 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 you did that very funkily there, my guy. Okay, I run out of ammo. Run out of ammo at a really bad time here. I'm probably gonna die. If I'm not careful. Okay. We're good. Oh my god. Oh, no, no, no! I didn't have only one... I didn't have only one weapon. Oh wait, no, no, no. Okay, I think it counted because of my mutation. Okay, I think it counted. Whew! Whew! That was almost very, really stupid of me. Okay. I think that's- I think this is the one. Uh, let, let, let me check, let me check, let me check, let me check. One second, it's gonna go back for a second. Yes, it is. Quick Swapper is the right one. Good. So Quick Swapper, let's see what that does. Increase weapon pickup range. Interesting. You drop weapons at your feet. Um, dropping a weapon makes you immune for a short duration. First shot fired when picking up a weapon costs 50% less. Portals spare out a new random weapon upon entering an area. Okie dokie. I've got the wrong weapon in my goddamn hand, though. I, unfortunately, I dropped my very good shotgun. I think Auto Flame Shotgun will uh, will do us nicely here. Ah, unfortunate, but that's okay. We'll go for the next one now. Uh, we do a restart, so the next one we just need a morph weapon. So, in fact, actually, let's, uh, let's go back and... Hmm, actually, wait a minute. I've got an idea. Let, let's, uh, let's start with a weapon that's actually valuable to us, like the yo-yo gun. And I think what we can do here is start her out and, yeah, we can... It's, this is a bit scummy, but basically we can restart until we get morph up here, look. There you go, we got Morph. Okay, good. So now, every weapon that we bind onto this weapon will have Morph on it. So as long as we don't, like, pit completely drop our original weapon, every weapon we bind together with this will have Morph now. See? I'm smart. Does make our attempts take a little longer, but overall I think it's not bad. So, for example, now, if we do that, see, we got the Morph Minigun. I mean, we got a Morph Minigun anyways here, but it also has Morph on it. Um, we'll go with that in case we thingy again. Do you know what? I'm sure do this straight away. We get this, we get the, the Splasma Gun. Oh my god. This thing's, this thing's kind of wild and not very good. <laughs> We got ourselves a plasma cannon. Plasma cannon could be kind of crazy. Oh, that shut right as I went to interact with it. How dare you? Cool. We're going to need a lot of ammo for this thing, though, to make it work. Um... Open mind once again. Okay, you're a bit of a bitch. Level 4 already. Trigger fingers with this thing is going to be very, very good. I like the fact that this thing destroys walls. That makes it a lot better. In situations like this, it's not very good. Right now, I just want to show you, did we bring a weapon through with us? We didn't. Puts us in a bad spot. Puts us in a bad spot. Yep, puts us in a really, really bad spot. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Yeah, I was like, please, assassin, don't see me. But you, you get you get my picture here, right? It's not going to take too long to get Morph back again. Oh, 
Alright, it's really hard to get the rhythm right with this. Exit R click. Exit R click. There it is, there it is, there it is. Good. Cool. And then we combined, and then we get ourselves the Electro Gun with Morph on it. The Electro Gun ain't very good. We got ourselves the Super Yo Yo Gun now. And the Heavy Grenade Launcher. Heavy Morph Grenade Launcher. <laughs> Um, I need something that's going to give us a lot of ammo, really. Tough Shell should be pretty good here. Hope we got one of these weapons. These can be pretty good. I'm going to keep going. Gatling Bazooka. Not the sort of thing we want. Bubbler. Okay, Bubbler we can probably stick with for a little while here. Bubbler's gonna be decent, because we can we can stay at range and do some good damage with this thing. Cool. Okay. And a half-decent morph weapon here. I did check as well, it can, it can be a mod, it doesn't have to be a morph weapon specifically, so this will work. Beautiful stuff. Why are you gonna make us go all the way back over here, game? Why are you gonna do this to me? Um, explosions burn. Let's go with it. These are explosions. Why not add a bit of spice to this? Definitely feeling my need for, for my plutonium hunger right now. Having to move too far to get my rads. Should probably grab another weapon as a just in case. Um, Rabbit paw for more ammo. We'll grab that. I like that this destroys walls too. Anything that destroys walls is super convenient. Stop trying to snipe me, you dick. Every time you go for me. Every time I don't like it. When are you going to learn? I don't like it. Yeah, the bubbler is just doing an amazing job right now. Um, there it is, plutonium hunger. Necessary. It looks very pretty, and it's super, super useful. That allows us to be a lot more passive in the way that we play, which I really, really like. If that was a fire line rather than a toxic line, my god, I'd be grabbing that in an instant. Nope, I don't, I don't know which one I went into there, to be honest. Okay, we're level 5 already. Not too bad. I think at the minute we really don't have to worry too much. We just have to not die. Good. I like the way when you kill a boss, Plutonium Hunger just instantly grabs up all the rads before they even become visible. I'm liking this with Mood Swing as well. The extra burn damage is probably helping quite a bit. Um, the Dreams? I quite like the, uh, the, the Dream items. What's down here? Oh, there's a lot down here. There's a little club down here. Level six. Not the best weapon to be fighting this boss with, but we made it work. We made it work. Level seven already. I'm probably going to have to take that. The extra healing and ammo is just too good. I think that's something that I'll probably pick up most times it shows up. Stuff that just does stuff for you passively, I really, really like. Just giving us health and ammo without us having to do anything. At this stage, we could probably try and get a better weapon. 
But I'm like, do I actually want a better weapon? This thing's doing a really, really good job. Like, the fact that we're able to keep our distance from everything and, like, kill enemies through walls is really, really nice. It's allowing us to stay very safe and just kind of walk into areas and destroy everything. And then we're burning stuff as well. It's all good. As much as I want to, like, use our crafting abilities to craft some really cool weapons, I'm a bit wary of it. Blood could be really good here. Okay, we're, we're almost level 8 already, so we're nearly there. I don't know what blood's going to do on this thing, by the way. I just grabbed it, because why not? I don't know if it's actually going to block projectiles or anything. Okay, we got this fella here. Unfortunately, we don't have Mr. Sleepy Sleepy Times with this. That'd be very good right now. Good. It is sometimes turning things to sheep still. Which I quite, fi I quite find quite funny. Not every time. Most of the time it just kills them. But sometimes you get a little sheepy. But last of you? No. Where is the last of you? Maybe someone I forgot all the way back here, isn't it? Yep. How dare you. Right, halfway through level 8. Not far to go now. Um, Open Mind once more. Open Mind's just very, very good. Right, just don't walk into enemies in this area. That's going to be what kills me very, very quickly if I walk into an enemy. Because they do insane contact damage. All of them. Look at the amount of chests. Okay, we are level 9 now. Not going to get level 10 this stage, I don't think, but we can get close. See, that guy did like 3 damage on walking into me then, and the big crystals do an insane amount more than that. Who's left? Okay. This might be the last one. Um, go with Ecstatic Fists for the extra damage when we're at high HP. Unfortunately... Not at high HP right now, because things keep walking into me. Plutonium Hunger will get us back there, though. Now, this is a boss that I'm kind of worried about. Whoa, this thing's really hard to use. Probably use the bubbler at this point. Come on, let us get to max rank here. Yes! And now we can just hold the morph weapon, just to make sure. Holding the morph weapon. Here it is. Ingenuity. Your active becomes change your weapon into one of the same tier you can go through all available weapons Woo. whenever you change or swap weapons spawn morph on your crosshair the rumble increases morph round amount whenever you change your or swap your weapon spawn morph on your ah well that seems good So this is all level 5 weapons here. We get access to all of the level 5 weapons. I mean, the spawning morph on our crosshair thing seems just ludicrously good. Considering there's no cooldown. Beautiful. Right, and then we can do this look. We can go... We got that. Whatever that is. Hmm. We can go with that. There's going to be some weapons here we've never even seen. Hyper Launcher, Hyper Slugger, Super Eraser. Hmm.
boomer. Uh, oh, damn. The good thing is as well, we can change our ammo type super easily here. So we can, like, come in, use this boomer array, which seems both amazing and incredibly dangerous. Anything higher than tier 14 here? No, no, no. And then we get, get bored of that, we can go to the, the ghost dagger. Bored of that, we can go to the lightning yo-yo gun. That seems very good. Get some cracking on that, why not? Although I don't think that'll stay around for long. Oh no, it does, it stays around. Frost array, super penetrator, lightning crash, super bounce bazooka, cracking launcher, super wrong direction. Hmm. Let's go with this thing again. This thing seems good. Try this out. See if it's any good. And if it's not, we'll just swap to the next weapon. I really like this idea. It's pretty cool. Alright, one moment. Okay, we are back. Let's go for this and see what we can get done with this insanely weird weapon. I don't even know how good it is, but... I'm intrigued. It kind of fires a melee weapon. It's not amazing, to be honest. Let's try this thing. This thing seems better. Although none of them are doing insane damage. The Hyper Launcher. Ooh, Hyper Launcher is kind of interesting. I still think the absolute best way to play is to just... Spam the hell out of this. I mean... How fast can I fire this? Yeah, okay. I tried to take my hand off of the uh, keyboard to spam click it. Wasn't a good idea. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed this one. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.